Hey, welcome back, everybody. Welcome to art class. I hope you had a really good break, and I hope you're really excited to make some art. I know I am, because we're doing our superhero project, and that's pretty exciting. Uh, it's been a while, so I'm going to remind you of what we've been up to, and then show you what we're doing. So, last time, we designed some superheroes, right? We designed about three superheroes, and I did ask you to keep those, so if you have them, that's perfect. If you don't know where they are, you know, take a second to see if you can find them. But don't sweat it if you don't have it. It's, it's all right. But we designed three. Here's the ones that I made. IT, insane technology. He's like a robot with electrical powers. I also designed, let's see, the grasshopper. I think she has some kind of suit that gives her grasshopper jumping powers and armor. And then, Mock Rocker. He's a rock and roll superhero who uses sound waves. So, uh, yeah, what we're doing today, you're going to pick your favorite one of those that you designed, okay? I'm going to pick Mock Rocker because during our last art hangout, somebody was like, said they really liked Mock Rocker. And I think he's my favorite too. He's, he's pretty neat. So I'm going to pick him for today, and I'm going to develop him a little further. So you pick one of your superheroes to develop a little further. If you don't remember or you can't find them, just make up a new one. No big deal, okay? So I'm going to keep Mock Rocker over here. Um, and let me just show you what we got going on on this slide and show you what we're going to do. You are going to design a secret base for your superhero. Every superhero's got to have a secret base. They got to have a hideout, a safe place to go. Some examples would be right here, we've got the Avengers Tower, as you can see in the movies. But it's also in the comic books, too. Ever since the Avengers came out in like the 60s or 70s, they've had that tower. And that's where they hang out, that's where they all meet, they plan, they can live there if they need to, they do their research there, and you know, it's just an important place. And a lot of big battles take place around there. It's just a cool setting. And then over here, the Batcave, right? That's another famous superhero hideout. Batman has a secret underground cave. You can't see it from the outside. It's totally hidden. But inside, there's all kinds of computers and technology and cool stuff. And it's in a cave, so you can see all those rocks and things all around. It's really neat. So you come up with a secret base that fits your superhero. It fits their personality or what they need to do. Also, superheroes have a vehicle. so. You can design a vehicle for your superhero. Okay, so once again, Batman's got the Batmobile. This is my favorite Batmobile, but they're always making new ones. Um, so it kind of looks like Batman, doesn't it? You notice that? Or like Superman has this little super plane thing. I'm not sure why he needs a plane, because he can fly, but maybe it's just for fun. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, it looks like Superman. It's got his same colors. It's got his logo on it. So when you make a vehicle, use the same colors from your superhero. And finally, we can draw some friends or enemies of your superhero. So like the Avengers. I always like the Avengers because it's like a team of superheroes and it's always changing and there's new heroes coming and going. And they're all buddies, right? These are all friends. Like Captain America is really cool and interesting. But when he's there with his friends, it's always more interesting. You know, so come up with some friends for your superhero or come up with some villains, some enemies for your superhero, right? Like right here, we've got a villain from Dogman, right? If you've read those books, those books are so good. So, so good. And it's like a giant <laughs> lunch bag. And we'll look at some more of those Dogman enemies is when we get there. So, I am going to make my screen a little bigger and start doing some drawing. Let me aim down. Just thanks for your patience. This always, you know, takes a second. Um, there we go. It's tricky to get this camera to situated just right. Okay, that's good enough for me. It's good enough for you. It's good enough for me. Okay. So I've got a pencil and I've got some crayons here. And like I always say, yee don't need super fancy art supplies. You just use what you got. All right. And I've got
got an orange. Very important. No, just kidding. That's just a snack. <laughs> All right, so um, let's see here. I think I can set this camera up a slightly better. Okay. That's good. All right, so designing a secret base for my superhero. Now I've got like a whole stack of papers, so I'm just gonna use use a bunch of papers for this one. They don't all have to be on one paper. Alrighty, let's make a secret base. So Mock Rocker, right? He's a rock and roll superhero, right? Make this bigger so you can just see my paper. He's a rock and roll kind of superhero, so he's gotta have a rock and roll sort of themed base. I'm thinking maybe it's like a rock and roll club, right? Where people go and see some music. And he also lives there, right? So um, when I'm designing a building, I start with like shapes, right? I'll start with a big triangle. That's kind of cool. It's a cool kind of hip looking building. Almost has kind of guitar shapes. Um, maybe it'll have a big guitar on the front. A big flying V guitar. And this sign is going to say rock. The rock zone. It's called the rock zone. And people come here to rock and roll and hear some music. So they got lots of doors on the front and a little awning. And then they'll have a little sign with lights around it that shows who's playing. And it's on the, you know, it's just kind of in the city. So we've got a sidewalk here. And a road, right? And then I'll put some fun windows here. Now I'm drawing the outside of the building. You can draw the inside if you want. Like that picture we saw of the Bat Cave. You know, that one just showed the inside of the Bat Cave. It's up to you how you want to do this. The rock zone. So people go in there and rock and roll, but guess what? Mock Rocker has his own special tower up here. And it's got a big, it's got his M logo on it. So everybody knows this is where Mock Rocker lives. Very cool. And I wonder what this can have. Maybe big speakers on it so it can blast music out. And if he needs to, he can use those with his superpowers to really, to really rock out. This place is always rocking. And yeah, he lives up there and does all his business there. I like it. The Rock Zone. That's Mock Rocker's secret base. like it the rock zone i would go there maybe i'll do a little more on that later maybe i'll draw the inside if i want maybe i'll color it but for now i'm going to put it aside because i want to kind of do demonstrations here get through some demos and then just have some open work time you can of course be drawing while i'm doing this too next one is draw a vehicle for your superhero right so i got to make a mock rocker vehicle i'm thinking what does he, is he gonna have a car? Is he gonna have a plane? I feel like Mock Rocker needs a plane, man. I feel like he needs a plane. I mean, I mean, yeah. It just seems like something he'd have. So I'm gonna use, you see, I use kind of some pointy shapes here because he's got pointy shapes on his costume. So I'm trying to make this all sort of match. So I'm gonna design a plane, a super awesome plane for him. The cockpit will have this pointy shape as well, and that's where he sits. I'll even draw him in there. Okay, there's the cockpit, and some little controls in there. And I'm just gonna basically like be putting triangle shapes together because I know that he's got lots of those triangle shapes and he's got that fin on his head, so I'll give it that fin. And just making this out of like cool triangle shapes. Whatever shapes you think fit your hero, those are the shapes you can use for your thing. And then a little wing on the side. Some 
jet engines. Oh, and we gotta put his logo on there, right? Remember how the Batmobile kind of looks like Batman, or Superman's plane kind of looks like Superman, right? This kind of looks like Mock Rocker, a little bit, at least. And it uses the power of sound waves. So it doesn't use, like, it's not like a regular jet. These are, these look like jet engines, but they're actually speakers. They have little speaker cables going in, and it blasts music out. And he travels with the power of sound waves. See how that kind of matches him and his powers, right? That's pretty cool. All right, and I'll put more detail into that later, and I'm going to move on to the next part, which is draw some friends or enemies of your superhero. Now, for this part, I wanted to show you some more examples because I found something really fun <laughs> that I wanted to show you. So, just a second here. Hang on. So we were looking at those Dogman villains, right? Um, let me put this up. I found this page that has all these different Dogman villains. This is all the list of villains from Dogman. And they're all so funny and interesting. Uh, like Barky McTreeface. There's Barky McTreeface. Isn't that great? He's like a big angry tree. He was an evil rotten bloke, right? And apparently there's a song about him. So like you could take something like a tree and turn that into a villain or something like that. That seems to be what they like to do. Or like, uh, let's see, fair fairy. I love that evil fairy. That's pretty cool. Take a fairy, turn a fairy into a villain. I think they like to take something that you wouldn't typically think is a villain and turn it into a villain. Let's look at one more. Beast, beastie buildings. Uh, it's hard to see that picture, but they look like some buildings with like big, strong muscles and stuff. So I, those are just some ideas to give you inspiration. I thought those were really funny, and you would like to see that. So let's come up with some villains or friends of Mock Rocker. Um, I feel like Mock Rocker's like team, like if he were an Avengers team, it would be like a band, right? So maybe I could draw him a band. I think I'm gonna work on that. I'll give him like a drummer and a singer. And he'll be the guitar player. That'll be his little team. Alright. So, um, I'm just gonna work for a while. I'm gonna turn my mic off so that you can focus a little bit. Just realized the music was kind of loud. Hopefully that wasn't a problem for you. I turned it down. Sometimes it gets louder. So, I am going to turn my mic off and start working on my superhero team. I'll check in with you in a little bit.
So this is the Mach 3 here. I made Mach Rocker's little team. And here's Mach Rocker with his guitar. And this guy, I drew him kind of quickly, but I was imagining that this is like a drummer guy, but he's got like a robot suit of, of drums that he can like play the drums. And then this guy, he sings, and then his microphone makes sound blasts, right? Like sound wave blasts. So they all use the power of sound and maybe they can all like come together to put their sounds together to make one powerful sound wave. Right? That's the Mach 3. That's their that's their team. And Mach Rocker is the guitarist. So, yeah, I made like a little uh, superhero team here. So now I can go on to color these or I can even come up with a villain. So before I color, I do want to draw a villain. So I'm going to come up with that. And I'm going to turn my mic off for a while. I just wanted to catch you up on what I was doing. Keep drawing. Have fun. But real quick, as I'm designing a villain, I'm going to think of, you know, instead of something totally random, I want to think of something that fits with the theme of Mock Rocker, right? He likes to rock and roll, and he likes to make sounds and, and just be wild. So what is something that is, like, going to be his enemy, right? Maybe... Maybe somebody who like doesn't like music. Maybe somebody who, who wants the world to be quiet. All right, so I'm gonna brainstorm on that to come up with a good villain for Mock Rocker. And I want to have to put a reminder out here, you know, because this is something for school, we don't want to make something violent, right? So 
Um, we we want to kind of try to stay away from weapons or things that are like that, and I like to kind of be creative about that. You know, like Mock Rocker, he doesn't have weapons. He, he he just has these powers that have kind of magical powers. And this guy, he doesn't have a weapon. He has like something that cancels the sound. I'm making him some kind of stick that's going to cancel the sound waves. And he has like these headphones, right? So so try not to get too violent about it. Um, to make superheroes. You don't have to have necessarily violence. There, there's creative ways that you can get around it. So do that if you can. You know, I know it's kind of hard sometimes. Just, just do your best to try to make it appropriate. So this guy has like some kind of device that catches the sound waves. It's like some kind of technological device that sucks in all the sound and makes it disappear. It attracts the sound waves. I don't think that's really possible in real life, but that's okay. And I'm just going to start coloring. We've got about five minutes left, so I'm going to just kind of pick one of these to color. All right. And a good way to make these things look like your hero is to use the same colors as your hero, right? So we use some of the same shapes and some of the same colors. So I'm using that purple and yellow that, that Mock Rocker has, his famous colors. To be honest, I can't think of another superhero that's purple and yellow. It's pretty unique. I'm probably wrong. There's hundreds of superheroes. Thousands of superheroes. Yeah, I don't know. I, th I'm, I think I mentioned it, but I don't remember. This guy, his armor here, this is soundproof padding. This is like, they put this in some rooms where they're recording music to kind of help control the sound. So he's got an armor that's made of soundproof padding. So if this, the sound waves aren't going to affect him as much. So he's specifically designed for Mock Rocker. And I'm also 
coloring him with gray it just kind of boring colors because he's all about things just being boring and not exciting that's his whole thing very evil except he does have red on his little earmuffs to say no his his colors will just be gray and red gray to represent being boring and red to represent him being like no no fun no music Oh, Mr. M broke a crayon. It must be a day. That's the rule. If it's a day, I'm probably going to break a crayon. <laughs> Meaning, I always break crayons. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm either too big for them, or I just get too into my art and just color too intensely and break them. That's okay. At least they're my crayons. I'd feel bad if I broke somebody else's crayons. Yeah. I didn't come up with a name for this guy yet. Well, we've got just about 30 seconds left. So, we are going to have an art hangout this week. Okay, so just the class code for the Google Classroom is in the description to this video. You just put that in Google Classroom, and then you can see when we're doing art hangouts. Okay? And our hangout is not something you have to do. It's just an extra thing where we're going to hang out and make some art. So if you're interested in that, just join that Google Classroom. You'll see the time and date and all the info you need in that Google Classroom if you want to do some art hangouts. All right, well, that was fun. That was a cool lesson. All right. Um, so still hang on to these because we got one more lesson to do with our superheroes. We're still going to go a little further with this. And I think you're going to be excited about what we're going to do next, okay? So I hope you had fun. Feel free to send me some pictures. I'd love to see what you all came up with for your superheroes. You don't have to, but you definitely can. All right, bye-bye. Keep drawing. Have fun. Stay cool.